Paul. Hi, Wilma. Uh, you've written this your new book, Elsa, Ancient Celtic Leader. Uh -huh. uh, it's just newly off the press. Tell us a wee bit about the story. Well, it's set in ancient Celtic times, and it's about a group of people um, on a soul journey through through this life, and they encounter quite a lot of tough challenges. But it's set in a very spiritually orientated environment where there's a belief in the earth spirit and where people really attune to more subtle energies and guides and all sorts of things like that. So it's a very interesting story and it's one that I really enjoyed writing and I'm very hopeful that people will enjoy reading it. And I know you've read it. Yes, I have read it. I enjoyed it very much. The, the, the main character, Elsa, it's actually from her point of view that the story's written from her perspective. Yes, that's correct, yes. But I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a very powerful and, and emotive book as well. One of the things that I like, I, I like very much the, the cover of it. And, um, you know, it, it's got the, the, the stone hinge, I guess, but it's like it's kind of dripping down, like into the mists of time. So I'm very pleased with the publishers, what they've done with it, really, with uh, Balboa Press uh, making it into a really lovely looking book. So, um, and so tell us a wee bit about your inspiration behind writing it. Well, it, it did come from a past life of mine when that I was exploring probably about 12 years ago. And uh, I did a few sessions on it. And then I, I just put it to one side and didn't do anything about it for, for some years. And then uh, um, about six years ago, well, it was actually um, Catherine, my partner, gave me the... Um, she got some guidance about me writing about this and, and it came at a time when I was at a quite a low point in my life and to write about Ilsa who's such a strong and positive character was very very therapeutic and I, I feel there's a lot you know in her character and in the character of the others in this book where people can maybe learn things and perhaps find strength for themselves as well. That's certainly one of my hopes that I have for it. And was the story completely... Because it's, 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 the genre is historic fiction. Yes. How much of the, the details from your regression are used in the story? Well, well, that formed the base for it. And I really then wrote truly just what I felt intuitively I needed to write with it to make it in a way what felt inside myself to be authentic around that. So so that's that's how I came to write it. And it does have quite a lot of twists and turns and, you know, some of the character challenges are pretty subtle. So I feel it's 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 um it's perhaps the book which I have most hopes for that that, that people will really, really enjoy. I've I've really loved the the strong female character. I suppose I was quite taken aback because if I think about ancient times, I wouldn't necessarily think females would be, you know, in leader positions. So it came as, it was a really pleasant surprise to read a story about a strong female character. Yes. Um, and as I said, it was just, again, I liked the fact that it was from, um, it was written from Elsa's point of view, the whole story. It was almost like a kind of journal uh -huh, diary. Of her life. Yeah, yeah. You know, extracts from her life. So it was interesting. It was a different sort of historical uh, novel that I've read before, or a historical fictional novel mm -hmm. that I've read before. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah, I guess there are quite a few strong female. Um, characters in the book and uh, you know it, it was good to write just a sense of these strong female characters in the midst of also strong male characters as well and and how they could how they could interact and uh, you know that that was something um, that felt very worthwhile to write as well and I suppose as well there's a very strong sense of survival uh -huh. in the story an identity of a community. Their quest to live a good yes, life together, yes. really. Mm -hmm. and, and a life that is in tune with 
with the earth and in tune with the earth spirit that they they're really aspiring to to be as much in harmony with the earth spirit as they possibly can and and i think their efforts to do this and 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 the influences that try to destroy this and how they coped with that you know i think that makes a lot a lot of what what is the meaning of the story too how long did it take you to write it oh well it it was actually over about 6 years i wasn't writing it all the time um and i did a few different drafts and i had to um just really go over it in the last couple of years just to refine it and improve it in different ways so so yes it was a long term project much longer than any of my other books um but i feel it's been very worthwhile in the end and what has been your response well it's still early days and i'd love to promote it and get lots of people out there reading it uh but the response until now has been very very positive i think any any person that's read it so far that's given me feedback has been um very appreciative of it so I hope that will continue what's your plan for the for elsa well i would like to promote it at different mind body spirit festivals and with any people that i meet uh i'd like to find outlets for it in different countries including america if i possibly could um and anyone that can help me promote this book i'd be very grateful to hear from you thank you very much i very much enjoyed reading it thank, thank you, you paul thank you all <laughs>